Preparation of soap. The preparation of soap from fats is very simple. The only thing needed is to add some fat, for example lard, to a solution of sodium hydroxide and heat the mixture for some time. At a high temperature, the fat undergoes saponification and produces soap and glycerol. The soap floats on the surface of the aqueous solution, whereas glycerol passes into the solution, dissolving in water. The soap is separated off, then remelted, and various ingredients are added, such as pigments, fragrances, and moisturizing substances. This process gives you the type of soap commonly used for washing your hands. Preparation of soap. The preparation of soap from fats is very simple. The only thing needed is to add some fat, for example lard, to a solution of sodium hydroxide and heat the mixture for some time. At a high temperature, the fat undergoes saponification and produces soap and glycerol. The soap floats on the surface of the aqueous solution, whereas glycerol passes into the solution, dissolving in water. The soap is separated off, then remelted, and various ingredients are added, such as pigments, fragrances, and moisturizing substances. This process gives you the type of soap commonly used for washing your hands. Preparation of soap. The preparation of soap from fats is very simple. The only thing needed is to add some fat, for example lard, to a solution of sodium hydroxide and heat the mixture for some time. At a high temperature, the fat undergoes saponification and produces soap and glycerol. The soap floats on the surface of the aqueous solution, whereas glycerol passes into the solution, dissolving in water. The soap is separated off, then remelted, and various ingredients are added, such as pigments, fragrances, and moisturizing substances. This process gives you the type of soap commonly used for washing your hands.